Cuisinaire rods are mathematics learning aids for students that provide a hands-on elementary school way to explore mathematics and learn mathematical concepts, such as the four basic arithmetical operations, working with fractions and finding devices. In the early 1950s, Caleb Gattagno popularized this set of colored number rods created by the Belgian primary school teacher Georges Cuisinaire, who called the rods raglets. History Cuisinaire rods were devised in the 1920s by the wife of Georges Cuisinaire, a Belgian educator. Similar to how written musical notes make music visible, Cuisinaire rods were designed to make mathematics visible by using wooden rods of varying lengths and colors. By 1931, the Cuisinaire rods, which were then known as raglets, had been improved in the use of Cuisinaire rods in the 1930s by Cuisinaire at one primary school in Tween. Belgium led to others seeing that school as one where students learned mathematics faster than most other students in the world. In 1953, Egyptian-born British mathematician and education specialist Caleb Gattegno named the math devices Cuisinaire rods and began popularizing these visual aids since he believed the rods allowed students to expand on their latent mathematical abilities in a creative and enjoyable fashion. Gattegnos formed the Cuisinaire Company in 1954 and, by the end of the 1950s, Cuisinaire rods had been adopted by teachers in 10,000 schools in more than 100 countries. The rods received wide use in the 1960s and 1970s. However, by the 1980s, most schools which previously used Cuisinaire rods stopped using them. In 2000, the United States-based company Educational Teaching Aids acquired the Cuisinaire Company and formed ETA, Cuisinaire to sell Cuisinaire rods related material. In 2004, Cuisinaire rods were featured in an exhibition of paintings and sculptures by New Zealand artist Michael Pareko In 2013 Lugano, Switzerland-based company Primo developed Cubeta, a robot designed to teach four-year-olds computer programming similar to how five-year-olds in the 1960s were taught math using Cuisinaire rods. Overview The educationalists Maria Montessori and Friedrich Froebel had used rods to represent numbers, but it was Cuisinaire who introduced their use to teachers across the world from the 1950s onwards. He published a book on their use in 1952 called Les Nombres and Coolers. Cuisinaire, a violin player, taught music as well as arithmetic in the primary school in Tween. He wondered why children found it easy and enjoyable to pick up a tune and yet found mathematics neither easy nor enjoyable. These comparisons with music and its representation led Cuisinaire to experiment in 1931 with a set of ten rods sawn out of wood, with lengths from 1 cm to 10 cm. He painted each length of rod a different color and began to use these in his teaching of arithmetic. The invention remained almost unknown outside the village of Tween for about 23 years, until Gattegno came to visit him and observe lessons in 1953. With Gattegno's help, the use of the rods for both mathematics and language teaching was developed and popularized in many countries around the world. According to Gattegno, Georges Cuisinaire showed in the early 50s that students who had been taught traditionally and were rated weak took huge strides when they shifted to using the material. They became very good at traditional arithmetic when they were allowed to manipulate the rods. Some countries, such as Australia, use the term crimson to describe the four-unit rod, the silent way. Though primarily used for mathematics, they have also become popular in language teaching classrooms, particularly the silent way. They can be used to demonstrate most grammatical structures such as prepositions of place, comparatives and superlatives, determiners, tenses, adverbs of time, manner, etc. To show sentence and word stress, rising and falling intonation and word groupings. To create a visual model of constructs, for example the English verb tense system. To represent physical objects. 
clocks, floor plans, maps, people, animals, fruit, tools, etc., which can lead to the creation of stories told by the students as in this video. Other colored rods in her first school, and in schools since then, Maria Montessori used colored rods in the classroom to teach concepts of both mathematics and length. This is possibly the first instance of colored rods being used in the classroom for this purpose. Catherine Stern also devised a set of colored rods produced by staining wood with aesthetically pleasing colors. In 1961 Seton Pollock produced the Color Factor System, consisting of rods from lengths 1 to 12 cm. Based on the work of Cuisinier and Gattegno, he had invented a unified system for logically assigning a color to any number. After white, the primary colors red, blue and yellow are assigned to the first three primes. Higher primes are associated with darkening shades of gray. The colors of non-prime numbers are obtained by mixing the colors associated with their factors. This is the key concept. The aesthetic and numerically comprehensive color factor system was marketed for some years by Seton's family, before being conveyed to Edward Arnold, the educational publishing house. Issues Use of color as a teaching aid disadvantages students with color deficiencies or color blindness. Males are overwhelmingly more disadvantaged by color dependencies in teaching aids. Up to 10% of males have color blindness of some kind, compared to less than 1% of females.